Monica, we uh, both of us are from Harding, mm -hmm. and uh, you have you came for a course for a Delhi Gynecologist course for uh, IVF, ICSI, and Biology, and uh, we also trained you very well in uh, male infertility, andrology, basic infertility, and A to Z of IUI. Now, what do you have to say about these courses? What do you feel about it? And how do you motivate the other people? So they, if you are benefited, then they should be also benefited. I mean, the teaching here is very good, right from the basics. I had come here to clear my basics. So I think uh, they, they are quite clear now. And these courses, everybody who is starting out should do these courses. Are they practical? Are you getting something out of it? Yes, ma'am, definitely. Whatever I have uh, listened here and I've seen here, I'm definitely going to put them into practice. Now, what about andrology and male infertility? How they are going to be useful for a female uh, gynecologist? And definitely 40% of the infertility is because of male factors. So we need to know the male factor equally well. And uh, the sperm function test and the DNA fragmentation index, everything you need to know. Yes, and the kind of knowledge which has been imparted to you in terms of uh, male infertility, whether it's an azoospermia, whether it's a problem with oats, and what uh, surgical uh, sperm retrieval techniques and things like that is concerned, what kind of a prognosis you need to give. I think everything is crystal yes, clear yes, after this yes, yes, test. Yes, and uh, uh, what, are, what will you say about the IVF, uh, HC and embryology uh, exposure? Uh, it has been very good. The teaching has been very good, uh, the theory, especially the theory part. So, because uh, we have to start from the theory first, so those things are very clear now. Protocols? Yes, ma'am. Very clear now. The sperm processing and other things? Yes, ma'am. You have been shown each and everything. Yes, ma'am. Uh, if somebody says uh, sperm freezing, you should be able to, will you be able to do it? Yes, ma'am. I think sperm, you need to. Sperm freezing, I, I need to... Uh, do it two, three times more, yes. but you know the technique. I know the technique, technique and everything is very good. Well. Because I, I think, you know, the kind of exposure which we give to, to you is absolutely wonderful. What what are you going to tell about uh, your, this particular course to other people? I would say everybody, uh, in fact, all general gynecologists should do this course to know the basics of infertility so that we have an idea, even if you're not doing IVF, so that we know what to do in the beginning, when to refer the patient rather than wasting time on the patients. And what commitment are you going to do it with yourself as far as IVF is concerned? I'm going to uh, stimulate my own patient yes, and associate with one of the nearby IVF centers. Yes, That's all? Yes, I, this is a promise? Yes, uh, This promise is a promise. That's it. Done.